Hi, hello everyone. So this is Orkut Pratadash and uh, again, uh, I'm back. Uh, so in this video, I'll be discussing the very first problem which came in BMAT BSTAT 2023, which was held the last Sunday. And uh, yes, so it's a number theory problem. It's uh, one of my favorite topic. And uh, yeah, before discussing the problem, uh, I'd also like to say that uh, uh, many of you are uh, again, uh, I mean, asking for the cutoffs and all those things. So uh, this is very, uh, I mean, I have clearly mentioned the cutoff, but again, let me mention that is, uh, suppose if you have done three problems correctly, okay, in the UGB, then you must have also done some other problems partially or whatever. So just think that if you have done three fully correct, okay, so, the, and uh, you have done uh, uh, in the UGA part, you have done around 22 to 24 problems. So then also you have a fair chance. So don't be disheartened or something. So uh, uh, have uh, hope, have faith, and uh, yeah, but those who have done more than that, that, that is in the UGV part, those who have done four or more than four, so they have a uh, high chance of uh, getting called for the interview, because in the, uh, I mean, as you have seen uh, the past year also, uh, two times UGA plus six times UGV was done, so a lot of weightage is given to the UGV part, so yeah. If you have done four problems correctly, I mean, you, you would be at a lot of uh, advantage uh, if you have done uh, good in the UGB part. So, yeah, without wasting time, again, uh, let's get back to the problem. So, uh, yeah, so here's the problem. So, the first, very first problem. Which is saying that determine all inter integers n greater than equals uh, greater than one such that every power of n has an odd number of digits. So every power of n will have odd number of digits. So uh, this is an interesting problem. And uh, now uh, uh, the idea of this problem I'd like to share that is uh, it's not a very uh, something which is very new. But uh, even if you uh, I think you have uh, done this problem. Uh, this problem is in the excursion and also it's somewhere uh, there in other books also. It's a very common problem which says that uh, suppose uh, you have this number which is 4444 four, 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 to the power 4444, four, 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 okay? And uh, you have to like sum of the digits. Uh, uh, I mean, if you expand it in decimal, for, uh, uh, in decimal, uh, if you do the decimal expansion and if you add the digits, so suppose if you get A as a sum of the digits, then the number A, if you add up the digits, you get the B. And then if you add up the digits of B, then you get C. So what is C? It's a, so that was the problem. Uh, uh, if, if I'm correct, uh, so that, that was the problem. So from there also, like we used the idea that is how can we get uh, hold of the number of digits of a number? Okay, so uh, there basically log uh, uh, base 10 that helps us to figure out how many uh, digits a number can have okay so yeah uh, without wasting time let's get started so so first of all i'll be writing down my claim so let's this is ugb 2023 problem i think uh, yeah this is problem one so the claim is that any integer n strictly greater than one has odd number of digits for every power of n if and only if n is of the form 10 to the power 2k. So that means uh, the power of 10 has to be even. So clearly straightforward, you can very well see that uh, if n is, if n is of the form 10 to the power 2k, then you take any power of it, n to the power r. So that implies that if you take any power of it, that is uh, n to the power r, which is basically 10 to the power 2k r. So then again, after one, you are going to have even number of zeros and total, you are going to have odd number of digits for that number. And this is working for every power so uh, of this number, okay? So I'm not going further with this, uh, very trivial. So now let's develop a theory. That is uh, given any number, 
like uh, the number should shouldn't be given like uh, in the decimal expansion so like it's a to the power b now suppose b is very very large sum uh, where like uh, as we discussed like 4444 to the power 4444 if you even put it down in your calculator so you won't be even uh, able to uh, uh, able to uh, calculate the number of digits it has so then how what do we do how how can we figure out the number of digits of a number so suppose if a uh, number n has k digits then n will be greater than equals to 10 to the power k minus 1 and less than 10 to the power k and that implies that uh, if we take log base 10 so k minus 1 will be lesser than log base 10 n lesser than k and uh, now you would say that why the inequality is preser preserved uh, though, though we are taking the log function so log is an increasing function okay so that's the reason and uh, now if you take uh, whatever this number is if you take the uh, floor function of this number so it's going to become equal to k minus 1 and that uh, gives us k to be 1 plus log base 10 n floor function okay <clears throat> so we explicitly figured out that if we are given n uh, then how can we figure out the number of digits of that number so now uh so clearly n to the power one which is basically n will have odd number of digits by the given problem or the given uh, statement of the problem so then uh since n will have uh, odd number of digits so what k will become odd right and so that implies that the number of digits will be odd and k equals 1 plus log 10 n and uh, yeah so that implies that k minus 1 is log base 10 n and uh, implies that k minus 1 is even as k is odd okay so in our case like uh, we are so first of all like all those numbers which are having uh, with n which are having even number of digits are already we are excluding them because n to the power 1, just for the first power, uh, they are not satisfying. So they are, I mean, first of all, excluded. And now we are only working with those uh, where n to the n has odd number of uh, digits. Okay. So, yeah. Now, uh, then what I can do is I can write this log base 10 n, this number as some even integer so any uh, uh, number i can write it as uh, the integer part plus the fractional part okay so now since here the integer is an even uh, number so let's write it as uh, even and the fractional part we don't know what can it be but we know that it's uh, greater than equals to zero and uh, less strictly less than one okay so this is even integer and this is the fractional part. Okay. So then let's come to uh, cases. That is, now uh, we'll be taking uh, arbitrarily any n, okay, where uh, we are taking that is n is not of the form 10 to the power 12, okay and uh, or even we can say that like uh, n is not of the form any 10 to the power k where k belongs to the naturals why because the uh, if the power of 10 is even then we have already shown that yeah they satisfy the our condition and if the power of 10 is odd so that means uh, it is having even number of digits 
n is having even number of digits so already excluded okay so then therefore the number of digits of n to the power r is basically uh, whatever according to our theory that we developed it's equal to this so and uh, now the, by the property of log let's take r so log base 10 n okay and this is 1 plus r now i am just writing this uh, log base 10 whatever we derived here e plus the fractional part so log is 10 fractional part uh, yeah. and that is equals to 1 plus r times e plus r times the fractional part uh, so okay so now you see that suppose if we have to contradict that is suppose for some r like we have to disprove like uh, according to what you have seen my claim is i have to disprove for all these numbers that there should exist some r for which n to the power r will have even number of digits so in the back of my mind if i want to show that so that means i have to show that this number will have to be even so which further shows that i'll have to show that tells me that i have to show that this number is odd Okay, for some R, not for all R. So disproving is easy and proving is tough. That's why they say that, okay. Why? Because for disproving, you just need one R. And um, you show that, uh, you see that for this R, n to the power R is having even number of digits. Done, okay. And uh, yeah, so I need just one R for every such N. So uh, depending on N, we'll build, uh, we'll produce the R. So again, moreover, if I have to show that now, I know that for the numbers I'm considering, that is n for n, which are having a odd number of digits, I'm looking for n to the power r. So that means here, e is even. And so whatever we are, r times e is always even. So that means I have to do something with this part so that the uh, inside part, this even number plus something, so the inside part will become an odd number and I'll get an odd number here plus one, which will become an even. So n to the power r will have even number of digits. So let's take case wise. So what we have is that is uh, the fractional part. So we have to basically work with r times that fractional part. Okay. So now what we know is that the fractional part is greater than equals to zero and strictly less than one so case one when it's uh, equals to zero okay so equals to zero you can very well understand that uh, when n is of the form some 10 to the power l where n is a natural number and we have excluded from our case because uh, the even powers as we talked about uh, they they are satisfying the claim and uh, the odd powers, they are having even number of digits. So this case is like done. Now coming to case two. So case two, if log base 10 n is equal to suppose one by m for some natural number n. So then we take m to be equals to sorry we uh, we have to produce r so then we take r to be equals to m so in this case we are taking r is equal to m so then what we get we get r times e plus r times that is 1 by m and so which is becoming uh, that is r e plus m times 1 by m which is 1 and this is even, this is plus one, which is basically becoming an odd integer. Okay, so this is coming out to be an odd integer. And uh, if I add one with it, and so this is an even integer. 
Okay, so for that R, I have shown that like for those numbers where the fractional part is one by some natural number. So I just take that natural number as R and take the power of uh, N to the power of that R and uh, I'm showing that it has even number of digits. Okay, and I'm done with this part. So the other case is that if uh, the fractional part is not zero, if the fractional part is not equals to one by uh, is three one by some natural number, then we can always say that it's strictly between zero to one strictly. Okay, so then we can always say that we can uh, figure out m. So there exists m belongs to natural such that uh, this will be strictly greater than one by m plus one. and strictly less than one by M. Okay. Because it's not equal to one or one by some natural number. So it will lie strictly between uh, two such numbers. And uh, there we choose, then we choose R is equals to M plus one. And thus we get, uh, that is R times log base 10 n strictly greater than m plus 1 by m plus 1 which is equals to 1 and strictly less than m plus 1 by m which is equals to 1 plus 1 by m and that is equals to less than equals to 2 because if even m is 1 so it becomes equal to 2 but this thing is R times this fractional part is strictly greater than one and strictly less than two, strictly less than two. Okay, so here though the equality is there, but here we have the strict inequality. So strictly less than two and which shows that this R times E, which is an even integer plus R times this fractional part log base 10 N. So this thing will be like, uh, I mean, so this is an even integer plus I'm adding one point something. Okay. So a number which is strictly greater than one and strictly less than two. So that means this whole thing is going to become an uh, uh, odd integer. Okay. Because this is even and so even plus one. So the next integer will be coming. So an odd integer and plus one I have, so becomes the whole thing becomes even. Okay. And thus again, I have proved that even for this case, I'm able to produce an R such that uh, my n to the power R is uh, even, uh, has having, has having, uh, is having even number of digits. And so hence proved. Okay. So yeah, this is this is done. Uh, so it was a nice problem, but uh, as I said, that uh, uh, this the, the idea comes from the problem that we already solved in the in our classes. So that is uh, the problem where four 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 to the power four 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 four. So that problem helped us in cracking this one. So yeah, I'll be posting the other solutions as well. I'm not getting time much. Uh, so. Yeah, I've already posted uh, with this. I, I have been able to post uh, four of them. Uh, so four of them are still left. And uh, yeah, so uh, even uh, I, I, I hope you are liking the solutions. And uh, I, I told you all that I'll be posting the, uh, I'll be posting the, you uh, sorry, CMI solutions, but uh, I posted the, uh, the last two ones which were uh, the hardest ones so the toughest ones so yeah so uh, and now the CMI uh, uh, they have also released their official solution so even you can go and com compare my solutions with them so I did not post the other solutions because already CMI has done that they posted but if you want do let me know in the comments below. I, I, I'll post uh, because I already solved all the problems, did not get the time to make the video. So uh, even you can like, for the last, very last problem, just go and compare my solution with the official solution. So you will 
see that uh, i mean or maybe the second last i think the second last the uh, function one so you can compare the two solutions and see uh, i mean you can compare um, on your own and see which one is better so uh, you know that how many uh, people have been able to solve those questions which are which were the toughest ones okay the first two problems or the first three problems and the polynomial problem uh, most of the people could have solved okay so the the hardest one were the last two which I have solved, uh, 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 so I posted it here. So I have actually solved all of them, but uh, posted only the last two. So again, uh, I think, uh, I hope, uh, I mean, you understand uh, uh, that is uh, how much effort is needed. So I hope you are, uh, uh, I mean, you, uh, uh, I mean, you like my solution and appreciate the effort. So yeah, thanks for watching. And don't forget to put a like. So yeah, see you in the next one.